In the previous video, we showed you web math and the complexity of the web page. What you're now looking at is a re-rendering of that web page. And let's show you how this would work on a mobile device. And if you're using it on an Android device, as we are in this example, you'll be able to type your formula. Uh, very easily. You won't have to scroll around to select a topic or a category. They can be organized by topic. You then key in whatever problem you want to solve. In this case, I believe that we're going to have a fraction as an answer. And given that being the case, the text-to-speech engine will read the solution all except for the graphic image of a fraction at the very bottom of the solution. So we'll wait. Let me scroll up. Try that again here. We'll keep going. And you'll notice as we get to the bottom, you will see something that looks different than the text. It is in dark red. And those are fractions. Those cannot be read by a text-to-speech synthesizer. Uh, however, um, what we uh, let me go back a little bit here. Well, what we're trying to do is to take those graphic images and go to the pre-processing stage that generated those images of fractions and actually present the fraction itself in a manner that is read properly using text-to-speech. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. We're working hard on making math accessible to mobile devices. Uh, and uh, we appreciate your support. Thank you. Now let me turn the recording off here.